Once again, we find ourselves in a horror game titled DRL Valley. And my flashlight, once again, doesn't work. And it's nighttime. I guess it's time we do something about that. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, guys? This is Heiss. Today we're playing DRL Valley in our career here once again. And uh, I think it's finally time. We're gonna buy the garage key for the caboose. So we can go get the caboose, pick it up. Oh, look at that, it's a cute little train. Cute little train key, that's very fun. Yep, <laughs> one for $20,000, poof. Uh, we'll just ignore the massive debt that we still have to pay. It's fine, um, for making that DE6 earlier. Uh, and we'll go pick up the caboose. Although, can we, is, is our cat friend still strutting around over here somewhere? Should be. Where are you? I can't use my light. I've got a lantern. He's around here somewhere, I'm sure. Well, we could waste 10 minutes looking for the cat. Or we could waste 10 minutes going to go pick up our caboose. Let's go do that. Uh, I don't have a locomotive over there. We teleport here. Let's see what we have that we can run. Oh boy, the venerable DE2. Well, it'll at least serve as a vehicle that we can use to go pick up the caboose. Although, can I just request the caboose now that I've got the key? Can we, can we just... Okay, so we can request the slug. Uh, and there's no caboose option. Okay, so I guess not. Because I know you can actually just call for the caboose once you do have it, but... Anyway, I guess we'll just have to go get it manually. Heist with a light DE2. This can only go poorly. I suppose we should turn on some lights. And be ready to throw some switches. <laughs> okay, line to the right. So we're not going to the turntable. That's very good. Then we're going to want to go to the left up here. So we gotta go basically down past the forest to go get the caboose. And it looks like we're lined to the right, so we're lined out of City Southwest. We're right here. Uh, I believe it's that little spur is where the caboose spawns, so we can just run down this uh, little thing that we, with that little line that we never run down. Go pick it up. <laughs> Let's see what we can uh, do here, because uh, uh, literally, Literally just want a place to charge my flashlight because I'm never going to remember to take it out while it's daytime. That is just who I am as a person. So I spent $20,000 to buy a, a fancy flashlight charger. <laughs> oh lordy. Okay, long to the left and we can be doing 90, so we might as well. How this thing accelerates so fast when it doesn't have any weight behind it. Why is it 60 through there? That doesn't make any darn sense. All right, there's the junction, so we'll pinch it down to track speed here. In point four. Got a good rate of reduction. I'm pretty sure it's pretty slow if we go to the right. It's a pretty slow speed junction, so. Gonna wanna bring it on down. And uh, also, ap apologies for not uh, posting this on the normal day. Uh, I'm sitting here recording this after I normally would have had it posted for several hours. Uh, but the uh, past four days, I've been manning the Polar Express at the Colorado Road Museum. Uh, my cohort, Dusty and Jeff, Management 1 and Management 2, respectively. Or, not respectively, the other way around. Uh-oh, I'm gonna make Jeff all mad by calling him number 2. Uh, anyways, they, they went down to go to Durango to go watch the Rio Grand Southern number 41 do some cool test runs out on the line. Jeff cut his teeth working for Knott's Berry Farm uh, and working on that engine and loves that engine. And Dusty wanted to go down and maybe have an attempt to fire coal, but it sounds like that didn't happen this go-round single tier. Um, but uh, they, they went out on that trip, so then it was, uh, they left me in charge. Can you imagine that? Me in charge of a, an event? Well, at least the operation of a train for an event? <laughs> this seems hardly fitting. 
as uh, we careen off the tracks, basically, around that bend. It's fine. <laughs> so uh, I was quite busy. Uh, the polar shifts are about a 10-hour, 11-hour ordeal, depending on uh, just how well things go on your end. So it was uh, a busy couple days. I had no time to play video games. I hardly got to celebrate 100,000 subscribers. Holy crap. I really don't know what to say to that still. <laughs> Uh, other than thank you guys, um, it's uh, incredibly humbling to see how many people want to uh, be a part of this community and learn new things about trains, or uh, learn old things, or correct me about trains, because lord knows uh, I, I don't know it all, and half the time I get all the stuff wrong anyway. But that's the fun, then I get to learn something, so uh, I feel very blessed and honored to have all of you guys here, so thank you for watching, as always. Uh, it's time to get some wipage going on, because uh, things are going on, and let's see, I have no bleeding idea where we are, other than we're eventually going to come to a junction where we want to go left, and, uh, and we'll do that. <laughs> Alright, we can be doing 70 and then 60, so we'll crank up the speed a little bit more. Uh, I'm less excited about just giving it the beans on track, I don't really know. Uh, at this point, I know the trunk lines of Dero Valley extremely well, which uh, some of you pointed out in the Con Races series. Uh, <laughs> it's a little, that's that's how I can cheat, is because I know what the speed limit's gonna be before I get to it, which, uh, you know, that's like what you do on a railroad. You're supposed to be qualified on the territory you're gonna run on. But yeah, like this three, that's a surprise. Now, pinch it down, flat spot the wheels, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, I wish I had a flashlight that worked right now. Anyway. <laughs> this is a bit of a squiggly, this whole track here. I definitely understand why that was a 30. Uh, where, where it looks squiggliest on the map? I don't know, maybe we're right in there. It seems kind of squiggly. I don't know. If that's where we were, um, we should be coming up on that junction. There's an 80. From a 30 to an 80. Goodness. Alright. Got places to be. And wheels to spin. Darn rain. <laughs> There's the junction marker. Alright. Squeeze on a little air, because presumably it'll be a lot slower through the junction. It's in point three. Uh, where are you? Where are you? Uh, there it is up there. What did it say? Three? No, six to the left. Oh, okay. That's fine. That's kind of surprising. It looks like we shouldn't be able to take that switch this fast, but here we are. Yoink. Okay. So, how f much further to the garage? Uh, it's actually pretty straightforward, so... Go bang into the caboose and have a good time. I sure love seeing all this scenery in the dark. Come on, complain some more, Flanders, come on. Get it wide open. Got a little grade, but we can do 80 or 70. But this thing only basically does 70, so I'll just leave it wide open right there. And hopefully there's a, a, I keep thinking it's a yard limit sign, but it's a, a junction sign. Hopefully there's one of those to signify the, uh, the approach of the caboose shed. Reginald's Garage. Reginald, the keeper of the caboose. I thought, it, I thought his name was Patrick. I thought Patrick was the keeper of the caboose. <laughs> Shout out to my man, Patrick. All right, there's the junction marker. Uh, who cares? Who needs wheels to be round anyways? Certainly not us. Line it to the left, and we can apparently do 40 to the left, which I really don't believe. It's fine. 40 to the left, and then, and then 20. Okay. And then the, uh, the end of track marker there. Okay. So 40 through the switch, and then instantaneously down to 20. And the track is just gone. 
there is no track. MOW has not been here, despite there being a caboose. Oh god, that's the structure. Hello! <laughs> we use the sand to prevent our wheels from going flat. All right, let's pull out the, the train keys here. Chunk! That's where I set my locks. Oh, baby. Oh, we've been blessed with an ESNDT caboose. <laughs> yes, excellent. Uh, an SDNS locomotive stealing a, a, an ESNDT caboose. The, uh, the, <laughs> the story is complete. Oh, goodness. Oh, beautiful. You love to see it. All right, gently, gently now. Gently, gently. Uh, we're not even close. Gently. Dunk. All right, just keep that compressed real quick. Where? I can't see anything and it's loud and rainy and obnoxious and pow, there we go. Air. Air. There we are. We probably didn't need to tie the uh, air in on this caboose. I, I would show it off with uh, with my flashlight, but I can't, so we're going to look at it with a lamp. Uh, we're on the mirrored side of things. I think somebody said Easy Text got updated, and I probably just don't have it, so the skins can work. But it's the 147, Caboose 147. That's a nice number. The ES and DT. There you go. Beautiful. Uh, and uh, let's let's hop aboard, shall we? We haven't played with the Caboose post simulator, so we got a handbrake. It used to be one of the only vehicles that had a handbrake, actually. Let's see. Oh, we've, oh, we've got a. Uh, we've actually got a brake pipe gauge back here. That's cool. Normally you'd have, a, you'd have a conductor's valve with a dump and everything, um, which I guess is kind of what that is. <clears throat> a trash bin. Very good. Oh my god, it's got a squatty <laughs> Sorry, Mick, you're gonna have to bleep that. It's got a, a Turkish toilet. <laughs> We're in old country. You have to squat over the hole and do your business. How, how have I never noticed that? Is that new for simulator? <laughs> Oh, most important. Um, is that the charge? Yes. Charge! Charge my flashlight, please! Beautiful. Okay, I don't know what that is. Radio? We've got drawers for storing many things. We've got our own career manager so we can see how much we've screwed up uh, in person. So, um... Looks like about 200 grand, so we're not even at, at our copay limit yet, but we owe 200 grand before we can buy anything else. MacGuffin, uh, Military 3 and Hazmat 3 are the only things left, so we're getting close to quote-unquote finishing career, unlocking everything. And then we've got a cupola that our head clips through. It's fine. Oh, and now that I've, I've crouched, it, 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 it doesn't let me get back up. It's fun. We'll have to ride a train from the cupola. Uh, I need to get the, uh, I need to get the, uh, locomotive remote. That one. That one! More cubbies for things. I wish there was a lost and found in the caboose so I could grab all of my lanterns that have been lost. Uh, coal stove. Love it. Another bunk. Sink with no faucet. Okay. That's, uh, that's fine. Uh, little table, dining, very good. Uh, <laughs> and a beautiful message from Fly Junior 172. Uphill slower, downhill faster, tonnage now, safety never! Uh, welcome to the ESMDT. How may we derail you? <clears throat> yes. Okay, very good. Well, uh, Neat to see that the caboose is a thing still, and uh, we're charging our flashlight now in this horrendous downpour. Well, I'm trying to think. Uh, it's been 15 minutes already, just getting the caboose. Uh, why don't we go run a lumber job? 
because we're out here. We never run lumber jobs. We only have a DE2 at the moment. We might as well just go do that, do a simple thing. Because we're right by the forest. We're right here, forest south is there, sawmills right there. Uh, that should be an easy, fun, short little run. And the only reason that I'm doing an easy, fun, short little run for this go around is we want to get a little bit more money. Maybe then we can get the locomotive remote. Then we can run some big, stupid trains to try and make some serious cash. I know we still got to try the DE6 and the slug. Uh, and that's that's definitely on the list of things to try. Uh, and I would do that, but getting the caboose over to the harbor or something and summoning the slug and lots of money and things and times and words and stuffs and things. Uh, and... Uh, I'm behind on this, and I'm also behind on live streams. Normally, every Monday, I go through and we have Montezuma Mondays, where we design bits of uh, a locomotive. Denver and Rio Grande number one, the Montezuma, a class 25 240. Uh, normally, we do those on Mondays, and we didn't this Monday, again, because I was busy running to the North Pole and back several times in one night. It's uh, some space time continuum uh, stuff going on there. Um, wow, we really can't see anything out in front of us, can we now? Can I put a lantern on? Ow. Cool. Can I get run over? Let me, let me put a lamp. Put our lantern on the step there and see if that helps. Does that help? I don't think it helped at all. But opening the door is somewhat helped. It's fine. We're just going to shove through the caboose all the way to the yard. Um, yeah, so normally we do those streams on Mondays, and I didn't get to do that because I was running to the North Pole. So we're going to do that on Tuesday. Uh, and after four days in a row of steam trains, I took a nice, nice big long night night, uh, and slept in. Uh, and it's presently the late afternoon as I record this, and, uh, I, I don't want to start the stream too terribly late, so, uh, I want to get to that next thing on the docket, of course. Uh, which means that I don't want to be stuck filming DRL Valley for two hours as I assemble some god-awful 2,000-ton train to pull with the slug and the DE6. So perhaps next time. Or maybe we'll get the locomotive remote. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Uh, it'll be fun. Is that the, the yard limit sign or the junction sign? No. No, I didn't see that. Okay. Well, this is just a bit of squiggle, isn't it? How much squiggle is there? A fair bit of squiggle, okay. There will be a junction before Forest South on that cursed squiggly line to the harbor. Yeah. We don't wanna end up on that. <clears throat> I don't, have we done a, a lumber hauling mission in simulator yet? I feel like I might've done one. But it's all a blur at this point, really. Okay, we're lined to the right. We don't want to be lined to the right. We want to be lined to the left. Pow. Now we're lined to the left. What's the speed? 30? Oh, that's what we're doing, so. Oh, it's 30 to the right. 70 to the left. And over that way is the harbor somewhere. Now it's 60. All right, well, let's get a little speed here. Still a 60 on the other end here. Beans. The beans! Still 60. <laughs> the, sh the shadows of the ladder is kind of hilarious. The lighting engine in Dero Valley is pretty good, apparently. Well, you know, it's a horror game, so you gotta have good lighting. Still 60, and that's the junction sign again. So we'll shut off, because that must be uh, that must be the forest. Then. I have no idea at all where we're lined to. 50 to the right, 50 to the left. Uh, are we just lined into a D DM3? I think we're just lined into a DM3. Stop! 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 Thanks, water on the ground. The caboose is fine. I think the caboose is indestructible. 
Yelling stop instead of dropping sand was the move, right? I should have gone back in the cab and dropped, <laughs> dropped sand. Did we kill it? Is it dead? Oh, it's only partially dead. We just shattered the glass out of it. It's fine. How's our engine? Did we break our engine? I have 1%. All right. Oh, I guess we can see right here, right now. Uh, how much did we break it? We have we have the power now. Uh, I don't know which locomotive that is. Presumably the 85 or the 27. It's the 27. How much damage did we cause with this recklessness of not knowing where our switches were set? Pow. Uh, sixteen thousand five hundred dollars, ladies and gentlemen. One dunk. We call that oopsie. What is, what is? That's that's our engine we're running right now. Why is this one ticking then too? Eighty four. Do we have some other engine running somewhere? That's the eighty five. Where's the eighty four? We're just incurring costs somewhere. <laughs> There's an orphaned locomotive somewhere. Okay, whatever. Well, uh, we'll just uh, leave the caboose there, I suppose. Bottle the air. And then I guess we're going to end up running the DE2 backwards again. There is a turntable, but I'm going to elect to not use it, because uh, why bother? Where's the oh, is the handbrake only on the one end? Interesting. Uh, all of our Rio Grande cabooses have two handbrakes, one on either end. But uh, I guess that's not typical of more modern things and stuff. All right, let's go to the station and see what we can do today. See if we can even make up enough money to uh, fix what we did. Is this when we fill the toilet with paper again? Blech. What? Why? Why is there a desk and chairs in this bathroom? That toothbrush is a cube. Blech. Okay. Now that that moment of ADHD is sorted, what do we have? <laughs> Sawmill. Sawmill. So. Saw oh man, we have three jobs. We could just take the whole thing of it. Can we? That's heavy. We only have a DE2. Well, we could fire up that DM3. We could fire up that DM3. So all three of those jobs. How many? How many tons would it be? God, it would be like 1,200 tons, basically. A little bit less than 1,200. 33 minutes, 1,200 tons. I mean, one one of these jobs, the, the heavy job with the bonus would uh, cover the costs of damaging the DM3. But we don't know if we broke any of the running gear or anything on the DM3. Ah, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, well, let's, mm, let's go fire up the DM3 and see if it's not dead. And if the DM3 is not dead, then we will use it. And if the DM3 is dead, then I guess we will pick something else. Okay, well the glass is broken, but the engine runs. Where's the cab light? There we go. Can turn the wipers on, but to what to what end? Okay. Yarg. Okay. Seems quite peppy. Happy to live. All right. So um. Well, now we kind of want to reshuffle this whole mess. What we'll do, we'll stash the caboose over and the DE2. We'll shuffle, we'll, we'll do the whole thing with the, um, no, we're gonna go reverse. Um, 
we'll sh uh, switch the cars together with the DM3. Oh crap, I already uncoupled it. Yeah, I guess we'll just pull back up and grab it then. <laughs> Go. Go get them! Hey, la, la. <laughs> Come on, you. Alright. Be ready with the coupler. Yeah, if I want to switch with the DM3, uh, I want to get the DE2 and the caboose out of the way. We'll just leave it bottled. Who cares about the air brakes? We didn't dynamite it, so it won't be set up. Get a grip, man! You're worse than 20 this weekend. Why are you sounding like you're set up? We kicked the brake off, didn't we? Yeah, we kicked the brake off. Apparently the uh, the cylinder's set up anyway. Shut up, you. Where's your bleed? Well, whatever. We'll need a brake on it in a minute anyways. Just pull through it. Go. Pull. us who told you you could come go away oh geez oh I guess I didn't set a break and I left it in the other gear. oh it's fine <laughs> chill good god man okay that looks like it's probably in the clear. How's it going? Poorly. My flashlight charged yet? Yes. Yay, flashlight. Okay. Uh, and now, just stab these things in the siding. Go! Good God. The rails are wet, it's hard. Won't take any of this lip from you, DE2. <laughs> yeah, it's in the clear. Perfect. All right. All right, that's good enough. Where is the EFC? Shut up. <laughs> Turn yourself off. Think about what you've done. Tie a break. Okay, now we're gonna go put together all those other cars. That's right, something, 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 return the throttle to idle. I'm having a hard time reading all of these shattered glass gauges. It's fine. her down and then we'll just go grab all of them uh, do we care which order probably the short guy f the shortest ones first just in case they decide to be very rude with uh, where we need to switch stuff so we end up switching out uh, the most weight first. I think that's the uh, that's the move. All right, let's go do it. Wet rail. Wet rail, wet rail. All right, I think someone said do that stick first for the next gear. And then there's 
that? No. Whatever, this is top gear. Places to be. And the places are logs flying through my cab shortly. Why'd you stall? I'm not sure what it, why it stalled. I guess the raucous wheel slip, perhaps. And dunk. Love to see it. All right. Look, a break in a convenient place. Thanks, DRL Valley. Give it sand. So it's that gear, and then I think it's, that's the next gear. That's so strange. And then we can go to that gear. Sure, why not? Yeah, that's definitely a lower range than that other one already. A little quick, it's fine. A little quick. Clear the switch. Just let that slowly come down. Go bang into those other cars. It's trying to stop. There you go. Ah, sand, I see. You still crave it. Oh, sorry. Didn't quite have it all the way off. All right, I guess we will go ride that is such a neat looking little choo choo, isn't it? Based on the class 03, actually. Alright, let's go ride the shove here. And we'll just dunk into that. I should go pick up my lamps. We're just complaining about them. It's a cute little industry, this. Okay. Mm, uh, mm, mm. Breaks now. That wasn't too bad. Oh, caught you! You thought I wasn't gonna catch you, but I did. There we go. All right. And then they put the brake on the other end. How dare they? Okay. Now we've got some serious weight to pull. It's fine. Come on. Dad, I stalled it again. Baby's first stick shift, come on. And then the last cut's just right there, so. Maybe we can get away without sand. Not at full throttle, but at most throttle, okay.
Oh, do it. Do it. All right, that's plenty of speed. So I'm just gonna shut the throttle off, leave it in that gear so we don't over rev the engine. And then I'm gonna ride the rear, get ready to pull the angle cock and stop the train so we can reverse it. Logs is heavy. Heavy logs. Mm. Wood. <laughs> I don't know what it is about my brain, but I definitely looked back at this and went, mmm, beef, mentally, and went, no, that's wood. <laughs> uh, that's fine. Uh, probably. Probably fine. Don't worry about it. I'm sure it's fine. Get to the train! Alright, now we put it in reverse and back down to a sensible gear. Shove. With, with sand, if you must. Come on. Figure it out. Good train. Power. The TM3 is so freaking cool. Such a neat choice for them to add. All right, there we go. That's pretty good speed. We're lined in. I don't know how close that cut is. Uh, very close. Pop the air. <laughs> it's like, wait a second. Nobody like that. All right, recover, please. I was not gonna make it all the way to the other end. Yeah, we stopped like a half car short. <laughs> Lordy, Lordy. Okay. Pow, pow, pow. We'll just leave it in first and just give it some power. Just let it push through it. And then we'll uh, then we'll give it a little shove. Then do we want to put the DE2 on front? I don't know. Oh, that's a lot of speed. Ow. How bad was the dunk? Well, he said ow audibly when he heard it. Okay, of course the brake is on the other end. Once again. Well, let's see. We could bother to switch the caboose to the rear, as is tradition. But that really doesn't matter in Dear Valley. <laughs> and that sounds like a lot of extra switching. So I think I'm gonna pull ahead the DM3 and then we will put the caboose DE2 on next. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll just do all that. And then, then we will get this uh, traveling equipment show uh, moving. Stop pushing through God and everybody. We know you're strong, friendo. Goodness. Okay. Dunk that over, tying a brake on the flat. Bottle the air, like, because we're bad kids. All right. And now we will go run ahead. What are you worried about? Go. Just put it in high gear. Pow. Run from the D the DM3 because it's going to be the problem child of this endeavor, and we'll have the DE2 be behind it. I don't I don't think you can MU these, can you? I guess it really wouldn't make any sense to, even if you could. Oh, we've melted the windshield wipers. Single tier. <laughs> There's um, it was a common thing you'd get uh, locomotives come into the shop at BNSF, where the the wipers got left on. Uh, with the, the cab heat on as well 
and the wipers would literally melt to the windshield, and you'd get these black swaths of obnoxiousness because uh, the crews just walked away. Which, uh, yeah, that, uh, that's the railroad for you. It's fine. All right, and we don't need lights on on this guy anymore. We did not pull the DM3 far enough ahead. We'll just go dunk into it and then put the whole mess together, grab the jobs, and we'll be on our way. Do 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 boop. Let's not be spicy when we say hello. It's casual. Not cayenne, just uh, like paprika. A light spice. Actually, this might just be black pepper. Minnesotans be scared. Could dunk. There we go. Tie up that. Okay. Oh god, I can never remember what the proper thing to do is with air when you have multiple locomotives in Dero Valley, because it doesn't work like the real thing. Oh god, we almost positioned it perfectly. Almost. Just return its brake off, leave it in high gear, put it in neutral. Then we get the switch, lined to the train. We'll go dunk this whole mess in. Spice them traction motors. You gotta preheat them so that they flow properly, you know? Relax. Ah, right. Come on! I guess I got a break on the front. I wanted to go in, but I went on. On, Tim! On! Uh, yes. Boost is supposed to have a strong handbrake. Very strong. Should have just left it on. Bang! Stopped nice and easy, didn't it? Alright, charge up this whole mess. Didn't break anything. Didn't break anything more. Yeah. Yeah. There it is, boys. The caboose. The caboose and the log train. <laughs> Thumbnail material. Yes. Okay. Uh, now we'll go grab the jobs. I should have just grabbed them anyway. Uh, and then we'll turn them all in. And we'll get this rolling show a moving. And hope that uh, we can make it before nighttime. All right. Pow. Pow. And. Uh, pow. That was hard. Why was that hard? Okay, here we go. Here we go! Apparently, I can teleport to the caboose now, actually, that I have it. Uh, I should probably investigate that as an option rather than doing what I just did. But that's okay. Put it in reverse. Give it some speed. Did we tie a brake? I don't know if we tied a brake. I'm just gonna put this in forwards and just give it some power. I think we tied a break. Yep, we tied a break. Okay. What else is new? Good train securement. Okay, here we go. Pull. Pull it. Pull. Go. Pull. Speed. Power. Beans. Melt those traction motors. Okay, not like that. 
Hey, we stopped loading before the stupid. It's fine. Did we break it, break it? No, we didn't break it, break it. I just kind of broke it, broke it. It's fine. Just leave it, I guess, there. That's where it wants to live. Oh, God, we left this thing in, like, an absolute massive... Okay, ding dong. Why are you having so much problem? Why are the oil so hot? I don't know, maybe because we put this thing in, like, 15th gear. Didn't pay any attention. It's fine. Go! Speed and power! Log train. Log train. Shift up. There we go. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, because I don't know if this, this brake will do anything. We might have to run the air from this train. And this is theoretically downhill. But we're not really doing much speed yet, so... It's fine. There we go. Getting more speed. Alright, let's see. That's the medium length one, and we're gonna dump it off on the B3. So we wanna do that, I think. Yeah, that's the shorty, so these are now in the order we have them. Also on the B3. And, oh, what just, oh crap. We let it get a little hot. Okay, 60, we're doing 50. I was doing paperwork! Okay. Um. Oh boy. Well. What was that speed limit? What was that speed limit? This is going poorly. This is going poorly. This is going poorly. Stop. Stop. That's a three. Dumped the air. I plugged it. Who needs new pants? Not me! Definitely not me! Okay. Alright. Uh, let's go back in our head end here. Um. He's dead, Jim. Yep. We, we bricked it. Well, hopefully we don't need uh, power ever. That's getting a little fast again. Set up just a little air this time. Uh, a little more. Uh, that garage is hardly off the main at all. It's fine. That's a 70. All right, kick it off. Hopefully none of that crap back there derails. It's fine. Sure it's fine. There's probably a hellacious pull to the sawmill itself. So we kind of need to carry some speed because we have one DE2 and one exploded sadness. All right, so that's going to C3. The other ones are going to the B3. Now we might be able to cut it, split it in half. If we're allowed to go to 70. We might as well go 70. Until we get to that junction over there. Can we get that from over here, maybe? Doubt it. 60, all right. And you know, we're gonna have a slower speed at the junction, so I'm just gonna hit that brake now. Line the switch to the left. All right, and what is that? A 40 to the left, okay. Let's pinch on a good bit of air. And hit 50, kick it off, it'll slowly propagate. We'll probably slow down a little bit less than 40, but that's fine. Okay. Oh, I know there's a hellacious grade coming right up to the sawmill. I remember stalling out there with something. 
Might have been the Shay. I think it was the Shay, the episode we did the uh, the modded Shay back before. And we can go 70 downhill again. Good God, this is a lot of logs. All right. Well, put the power on. And uh, we'll just pray. We won't smoke this poor little DE2. We gotta hit that hill with some speed. 50. Okay, we're doing 55, so we'll just leave it. Plus two. Oh, Christ. Now we're gonna leave the power on. Get it wide open again. 2% grade. It's a 40 there, but I don't dare slow down. If we're gonna get on a 2% grade... Oh, God, but we're doing 60. That's too fast. Brakes. Hold us through this. Okay. That was a little scary. This is still a little scary. Okay. We hit it at 50 with speed and power. This is terrifying. I cannot recommend that you do this down to track speed now. Oh, the temp is just skyrocketing, though. I'm gonna give it sand. Just try and hold it to some amount of temp increase. I have no bloody idea where we are. The caboose does not show up as a marker on the map in realistic mode, so you cannot teleport to the caboose. Okay, junction in point three. Oh, God, I have to back down. I have to let it cool. We're gonna blow a traction motor otherwise. It's in point three of a kilometer. Come on, just hold on. Just for a little bit. Come on, DE2. I believe in you. You can do it. Come on. Come on. You can do it, little DE2. I believe in you. God, this is like right where I stalled out with that Shay. We're gonna have to grab a rescue locomotive or take it up in sections. It is smoking. Shut back. Okay. Oh god, that's notch one is almost too much amperage now. We haven't stopped yet. Okay, now we've stopped. All right. Okay, well, so we can either go get a locomotive from the sawmill, which is presumably right here, because, yeah, we went through the one junction. You can see that grade, and right there it tops out. Uh, or we could just tie down the cars and bring them in. Let's see, let's try that first. We're gonna break the train. They already have to be broken up to go to the different sidings they have to go to. And I've got dead weight on the front. Single tier. DM3. Have, have we blown up the DM3 every time we've run it? I think we have. It's fine. Uh, okay, let's see. Where does the long train start? Uh, 636 or 401? Okay. 636 or 401. Depends on which way it's uh, ordered around. Four oh one. All right, and that means that this should be one twenty nine or six eighty two. One twenty nine. Okay, so this is the last. We need to make the cut right here. We'll dynamite those cars. They are on a grade. Um, so I'm gonna tie several brakes. Rule book on the real thing says tie forty percent of the brakes. And we have 11 cars, so that's five brakes. So we'll we'll tie, so that's four or five brakes, I think. We'll tie that many. That might be five, that might be six, but tie a bunch of brakes so that they hopefully don't roll away, and then we'll see if this poor little DE2 can start half this train on this hill. With a, a little roasted garlic traction motor action, 
I think it can. We shall see. All right, buddy. Show us what you're made of. Temp traction motors are cold. Release the train. Start loading a little bit. Come on. That's a thousand amps. Okay, it did not want to even budge that. How many tons is it? I mean, the first job is 171 tons, and then the second job, I think, is like 400 or something, isn't it? Yeah, 399. Okay, let's try one more time. Nope, okay. Well, I guess we're going to go get whatever locomotive we can from the sawmill. $81 fast travel, we'll take it. Save me some F buttons. Oh God, another DE2. At least it's for the ES and DT this time. Poop, poop, poop. All right. Tunk, tunk. God, we're not gonna be able to MU these because there's a dead locomotive in the way. It's fine. Uh, is that the C yard or the B yard? The B yard's right here, so that's where the first cut of cars needs to go. And it's highly likely that two DE2s will still not move that whole cut. Um, so we'll run through the B yard first. I have no clue. We're probably not making the time bonus at this point. Go. Come on. Shut up. Stop being mad. Not allowed. Not approved. Uh, B3 inbound is going to be on the left there. Okay. I was really hoping I was going to get like an SO60 or something, but here we are. Okay, we won't run too stupidly through the yard. Don't need to highball in the yard. <laughs> and we are in the B3, right? And that's where these cars need to go. Okay. So we're going to have three locomotives of caboose, three jobs, uh, and we're still going to have to take it up in sections of the first two jobs and then the big job. And all the switches are getting lined for us, which is nice. All right, 40 downhill. How far away were we? Right there. Just so close yet so far. I almost want to try and yeet the DM3 out of the way so that we can MU these, but that's going to waste a fair bit of time. Please slow down. Bang. Can't hurt that DM3 anymore, can I? Okay. So now, put it in forward, put it in one. Put it in reverse, release the air, put it in one. Put that in two with sand. Put that in two with sand. Okay, I'm gonna spice this one so I can manage one. Come on. Oh crap. Is there a brake tide somewhere still? You're not close to blowing up, are you? Okay, I guess we're getting the dead weight out of the way. <laughs> so we can MU. All right, sounds good. 
Pow. Go. Come on. That was close. Yeah, this is a lot of dead weight. Yes, I know you're hot. Shut up. Stop smoking. <laughs> Come on, train! I don't know what I want to do with it. I know what we can do. This is probably a very ill-advised idea, but we're gonna try it anyways. Okay, watch the points, watch the points, watch the points, dunk, dunk, flip! There we go. Uh, okay, that did not do what I was hoping it would do. From load you stupid git <laughs> okay well I guess we can uh... go away <laughs> go over there you're in the way <laughs> yes be mad get angry <laughs> we blow a traction motor? No. Okay. Thank God. Thank God the children were here to see that. Not only it was an authentic frontier gibberish. <laughs> we're going to we're going to deal with you, Mr. DM3. You're on my naughty list now. It probably would have been a shorter episode to go get the DE6 and everything. Goodness. Set up a little air. Let's not go spicy dunk. As we break another choo choo, I swear to God. Okay, okay, there we go. Kick it off. Let it roll, baby. Roll. Pow. Tied in. MU. Air. Whole nine. Okay. Now, this time, in unison, together, my friends. Come on. Be worth something, DE2s. Get angry! Go! It is moving. It is moving. We are going to fry the traction motors in about two seconds, though. Even in notch one. Why are you sliding back? You just got all that ground. Is the rear angle cock open? Did we break this wrong? Like, are we just trying to pull through a train that has no brakes or that has all the brakes? Or is the DE, no, the DE2 is just that sad. Well, we made some ground. Try it again. <laughs> Come on. This is a nightmare. Cool down traction motors. Let the air recover. Okay. Notch three. Notch four. Do something, you worthless pieces of scrap iron!
Okay, we're gonna teleport again to the sawmill and pray that we've gone far enough away that we have a new locomotive spawned. No, we don't. Okay, this has officially gone poorly. Gotta go to City Southwest and back. This was supposed to be easy! <laughs> what do you have now? Oh boy! Another one! At least this thing will actually pull something. Until we blow it up again. I apologize in advance for the atrocities that I shall commit to you, little DM3. Alright. Fair, fair cab light, please. Okay. I'm just gonna put it in speed mode and just go. Locomotive 4 has entered the game. It's fine. I promise. I promise it's fine. Go. Go get them. Felala! Felala! That is just a squiggle right there. Plenty of speed to kill us. Although, uh, J uh, Jeremy Clarkson famously quoted as saying, speed's never killed anyone. Suddenly becoming stationary, that's what gets you. <laughs> Which, well, you know, uh, that's what broke our first D -E -D or DM3 partway. <laughs> and there's been so many little struggles in between when we blew it up and then that uh, I'm not sure what blew it up, I was doing paperwork. Have just gotten too fast, over revved it. Pile of garbage! Bleh. Grab our brake. Couple into the two worthless piles of garbage. We're not gonna make a profit with these jobs. Honest to God. There's, there's no reason to not haul Splody Boys, is all I've learned in this game. Alright, that's plenty. Let it roll. And. Bang! Tie it in. Tie it in. I'm tying the brakes in on this. Put it in forwards. Put it in first. Sand on. Beans. Release the train. Release the air. Sand on. Look, it actually works now. I'm notch that back to something sane. And I think that's third gear technically, but now you're getting hot. Stop it. And this is for half of the train. Oh, goodness. Come on. Let's not blow it up today, shall we? Can we get another gear, maybe, out of it? Well, that's a real easy way to heat this thing up. Love to see the horsepower curve on that. Sanity is just giving beans real quick. Burst of speed. 
No, it did not give a burst to speed. That actually made us lose speed because we had to shut off. I guess we're just crawling in. Different potential thumbnail shots. All of the broken trains. Come on, train! Shut that down. Shut that down. Oh god, I could have turned the jobs in in here, couldn't I? I know you can't. Can you? No. Yeah, you have to go back to the office. Alright, wait till the whole train's on the track. that on. Let these guys keep rolling for a second. Where's the station office? Right there. Cool. Uh, is there anything on that track? No, there's not. So we could run through that. I will run through the proper way, I guess. Throw the switch. All right. Just leave the DE. DE2's in charge here. start going back for the other half of the train. We're gonna have to dunk the other dude out of the way. Pow! Look at that. Oh my god, we made the bonus time? Are you kidding me? 28 minutes? Oh my god, we're gonna make the bonus time for... We have five minutes to get that other job done. Five minutes. Okay. Yep. Speed, power, beans, all that. stuck it forward, can't change it. And it's not stalled, so it's just idling, which is nice. We're just shoving through a caboose dangerously here. It's plenty of speed. Look okay, we're not lined. We have to bang into another DM3 and shove it out of the way. This is all kinds of stupid. Can we do it in five minutes? Five minutes, I don't know. I want to try. Got to go further, start from further back. God, the other cut was so heavy. I don't know. I don't know if we'll be able to do it. Start pinching on some air. I don't know where the cut of cars is going to appear. It's going to be around that bend. There it is. Okay. Let me get those in re re reverse pre preemptively. Oh, crap. That's too fast. That's too fast. Ow. That was fine. It's fine. Fine. All right. Tie that in. Air that up. Air that's already there. Oh, what the? d -roll Valley just happened. All right. Release the air. Release that air. Start kicking off brakes. God, it's already trying to roll. I hate you. I hate you, you worthless piles of garbage. Okay, sand, speed, beans, power. First gear. Let's go. Places to be. Go. Pull. All right. And now we gotta take off the other three brakes we've got tied. Well, this is just moving like a slice of cake, though. Okay, we did tie six brakes. It's fine. 
get me back up to the head end before we blow up that DM3. Next gear, come on. Will you two please help? Do something, anything, provide some amount of tractive effort. Okay, and change up. Pow. Another another gear. What uh what track is it? C3? Okay. Uh I, the station map's not gonna tell me anything. Sawmill's right here. Oh, that's the steel mill. SW is the sawmill. Yeah, C is just to the left, that's all we get. Okay. And we're doing how fast? 15? We're just gonna hit that DM3 doing 15. Like, that's just gonna be what it is. So we're not gonna be able to, like, slow down or do anything else. I could re-rail it out of the way again. I could remove it for five grand, but this job's already been so expensive. Well, whatever, it's just gonna hit. Titanic into an iceberg. It's gonna hit. All right, there's C3 inbound. Here comes our tray. <laughs> our train and the, the horror train that comes behind it. It's fine. Uh, let's make sure the brake is off on this thing. It's gonna be on because it was whatever. And uh, hello! Uh, bang. All right. Could've been worse. Getting a little warm there. You're fine, you're surviving. You guys are getting a little warm there. Change up, go. We hit that with enough force that we dunked it out of the way entirely. Yeah, shut up. Shut that off, we'll just run from the DE2s. Give it everything, let's get on this track and then we gotta stop. Okay. So we gotta wait till the whole train's in the cut, basically. And then we'll just pop the air. Okay. Almost there. Almost there. Okay, that last car is coming in now. I'm gonna pop the air. I'm gonna tie a brake. All right. And now let's see what's that five minutes. I don't know. Ah. Uh, uh, uh. uh. No, it was six and a half. Single tier. That was our biggest bonus. Well, 55 or $5,600 basically. And, um, well, yeah. Yeah, we cost that much more money. Uh, the copay. I think we've hit the copay at this point. The 79 got blown up. Oh, that's the, that's the DE6. That's the DM3 that we killed. Oh, crap. Oh, 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 where is it? Just, just turn those off. Where's the fuel cut off? Okay. Shut all these boys down. Shut up. Shut up. Okay, and now we go see if we can find... Uh, that DM3 is just going on a little adventure all by itself. We didn't couple to it, and then we tied the brake, and then, and then I, I don't, I, we're, we're, he's just rolling by himself somewhere. Would it have derailed already right here?
Oh god, there's no way I'm gonna catch this on foot, is, is there? Well, now I gotta find out where it derailed. If it derailed, it might still be on the track. I could do 60 through there. Speed mode engaged. I was a four on the bridge. Well, it didn't look like it came off on the bridge then. Oh, there it is! <laughs> it smells like Kenosha's probably intensifying right now. Our little runaway DTM3. <laughs> eh, 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 eh. Okay, how fast are we going? We're doing 50. Speed limit's 50. I'd, we're gonna ride this out. <laughs> Get back in the cab before you die. I dare you. No. What part of Smells Like Kenosha are we in? Is it the guitar solo? Is it going fast? Or is it just the slow, drunken stumble at the beginning? I don't know. We, we will know at some point. It'll be hilarious if we're not even in Smells Like Kenosha, but... Yeah, goodness. It, uh, we kicked it, and it's, it's somewhere in Hearsville. So I don't know. Uh, I don't know what spiciness awaits. I haven't run this track in a minute. Oh, that's a bit of a chicane right there. And a three in the tunnel. It might die in the tunnel. Crouch down from the tunnel portal. It's thinking about it. Not quite dead yet. <laughs> this is the best game ever. Runaway DM3. I could tie the handbrake. I could. But I could also watch this go careening off into the sunset somewhere. Oh, that's gotta be a tight tur turn right there. There it goes. <laughs> uh, if only you made it a little further. Poor buddy. Yep. It's not even a good way to make a thumbnail out of this one. It's fine. That's uh, that's the way that I like to do that. <laughs> well, everyone, thanks so much for watching. This was a fun one. Uh, and uh, we're deeper in debt. But we have a caboose! Hooray! I'm going to go back to the, uh, the sawmill and uh, we'll call it there. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. We will catch you all next time.